Ah, crooked. Uh, still crooked. Ah. Oh. Good morning, little host. So today is the opening of the SCC greenhouse. Um, I think probably you guys have heard me talk about them before. I've gotten a lot of really cool plants from them. Um, I was so excited that I decided to take the day off of work and I'm going to be joining some friends there. It's our first time. And yeah, we're going to go plant shopping today. So come along with us. Okay. It got sprayed too much or something. It doesn't want to open anymore. Poor buddy. Yeah. Look at that. I don't know if it'll recover from that. It might. Give it a little time. Oh, look at the begonia. Yeah. I'm so glad you got the day off. I am too. She had no problems with it. Look at that aglaonema. Look at the Dutchman's pipe. Look at it, Jess. That's cool. Oh, that's just You're coming home with me? How old are you guys? How old are you? And oh, you're coming so home with awesome. me. I'm so sad they sold out of the variegated monsteras. Already? Yeah. Wow. It was like immediate, they said. Of course. Hi guys, I'm back. So that was an amazing experience. They had so many cool plants at the SCC and I was 10 minutes late or so and I did miss out on a few of the variegated monsteras which I was really hoping to get but and they were pretty cheap. They were under a hundred bucks for big plants, but I did talk to the super nice lady there. They're all really nice there. Uh, sorry I'm out of breath, I just hauled in all my plants to do a mini haul video. But she said that they're, they have a specimen plant that they propagate and they will eventually have more. It might be a year, but I'm gonna hold out hope. Like I said, I'm disappointed I didn't get that and all the Raphidophora tetraspermas were sold out and I was thinking about snagging a second, but there will be time for others. And I did get a shit ton of other cool plants, some Hoya that I haven't heard of before. So let me start with the couple plants that <clears throat> I don't know why I bought them. I mean, they're not particularly favorite plants of mine. I'm not really a begonia person, but I had to get it. This amazing angel wing. This is the begonia My Special Angel. And I like the spots on this. Look at this cool guy. Huge plant. Five bucks. Yeah, five bucks for this guy. So I do have a lot of shadier areas in my house. I might put this one in there. 
My mom likes begonias too, so I might give her a cutting. Or eventually the whole plant, who knows? <laughs> Sorry for the close up. Putting it down, and that creaking is my wicker chair. Freddy Cat is in my, oh, she's not in my favorite chair anymore. Oh well. I don't know why I bought it, but I did. It was only four bucks. I think that had a lot to do with my reasoning behind getting it. This is the Ficus um, Maclalardii Alley. Hi, Um We had one of these at my work. Very slow grower, even in the greenhouse. But I need more structural plants, I think, especially in my living room. So. Um, I thought the ficus might be kind of cool, but yeah, look at the long, narrow leaves on it. Again, this was kind of just a spontaneous purchase. Okay, there's so much good stuff here. I don't know what to show you next. And I think you guys know that I have a Piper, um, I'm drawing a blank. Piper nigrum, the black pepper. Well, this is a Piper. I can't, I can't quite read the tag, but it's called a root beer plant. I'll try and add the species in there. I wonder why it's called root beer. It probably smells like root beer. Oh, it smells like root beer. Holy crap, that's awesome. It smells like root beer and foliage. That's pretty cool. I'm kind of recently into pipers, the pepper plants. And I really want to find a piper or not him eventually. But I don't know where the heck I'm going to put any of these plants. Well, majority of these plants. Sorry, my bra looks riding up too. I'm just having issues. I'm overly excited. Hung out with my good friends today. Hi, Jess and Megan. Had a lot of coffee. I haven't had food yet, and I'm hyper from all the plants. It's an adrenaline rush. Oh, what do I show you next? Okay. This one I dropped on his head, but he should be fine. So this is a Ripsal... Ripsaliodopsis rosea. I was going to say Ripsalis, but it's not. Ripsaliodopsis rosea. But here's that. I don't know if this is in focus or not. Okay, 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 okay. I got some other Hoyas. Um, some, a couple of these I am not familiar with. So I'll show you those first. This is a Hoya Cummingiana. I'm sure I said that wrong, but kind of neat. I'm not sure what the foliage looks like. Uh, I'm holding up a plant with foliage. I know what the foliage looks like. I don't know what the flowers look like on these. Probably rare to bloom, but whatever. I promise I'm not on crack. I just, adrenaline and coffee. And this cool Ripsalis, or this cool Hoya. This is a Hoya, Leather Bacchiae. Again, this isn't one I'm super familiar with, but it has big fuzzy leaves. Slightly obsessed. So soft. And this guy was only five bucks. The other Hoya, five bucks. Hoya Bilobata, uh, four bucks for this guy. Does that have mealybugs? Oh, she has mealybugs. That's okay. I'll join my other mealybugs in celebration. Don't care. I'll treat you. You'll be fine. Hi, mealybug. Die, mealybug. Hi, mealybug. Smash you. Billabada, only four bucks. Really excited about this one. It's the Hoya Curtisii, the time leaf porcelain flower. Didn't know that was the common name for it. Three bucks for this little babe. Yeah. 
Okay, and I am so excited about this one. So excited. Hoya obovada for $3 for this massive plant with roots dingle dangling off here. And it's nice and splashy. I've been wanting an obovada for a long time, but haven't been able to find a very reasonable price online. So yeah, three bucks. And thank you to the wonderful lady, if you're watching at SCC, who I had an obovada in my box and she said that there's an even bigger one on display and showed me this baby. Thank you so much. I am in love. It's kind of surprising that this one was only three bucks. It easily could have charged me more for that. And I would have been okay with it because grand total it was under 60 bucks for all of these plants that I'm showing you. And this guy, I have seen it before, but I'm not sure particularly how to grow it. It's probably going to need some um, extreme humidity. And I think I've seen these often grown up um, a totem or a plaque of some kind. This is the Raphidophora crypantha. Cryptantha. Cryptantha. For six bucks, guys. Look at him. Isn't that amazing? The foliage is nonsense. I'm really excited. I'm going to be looking up. I, I feel pretty confident in most of these guys, how to grow them, but this is the one I definitely need to look up how to grow um, after this video ends. And... I, this is the one that I'm most jacked about getting. All of these are amazing, but this one is... It's crazy, guys, and I'm just staring at it. It's so beautiful. I got a Seropegia sandersonii. Uh, sorry, coffee burps. This spring is a cutting off of a uh, seller on Etsy. It was 10 bucks, which honestly wasn't a bad deal at all. But I just found another one. There's a lady walking away with one in full bloom at the SEC greenhouse. And I just about cried because I thought there was no more. There was one left. There was one left, guys. And it was 15 bucks for this massive plant here. Oh my god. I am so happy. I am so happy because my plant hasn't grown at all and I'm sure it, she said uh, one of the other ladies there said that it was a fast grower but again that's greenhouse conditions so I'm particularly happy that I was able to find such a big specimen and look at the flowers the parachute plant I think is the common name but 15 bucks for this huge plant I am so in love with this right now and it it's I'm not saying it makes up entirely for not getting one of the very good monsteras but it does ease my pain a little bit uh, I am so happy about this I am recently very into the seropegias and I want to get some other species because they're wild but yeah um, that was my haul today well worth taking a day off unpaid to go get all these treasures. I'm I'm crazy happy and thank you to my friends for coming with me and hanging out and sharing in my craziness and I hope we can do it again really soon. So thank you guys for watching. Sorry if this is all over the place and I'm crazy right now. I'm so hyper and jacked. And I think I need to go eat some food. But yeah, thank you for watching. And I'm sure I'll talk to you again soon. Bye!